As it waits to see if the courts will be sympathetic to its cause to save the Great Northern Grain Elevator, the campaign for Greater Buffalo is now appealing directly to Mayor Brown to stop the waterfront landmark from being demolished. The latest now from Channel 2's Dave McKinley. Though preservation is feared it could have begun by now, today we saw no outward signs that a demolition of the historic structure was imminent, outside of which yesterday about two dozen people calling for it to be saved held a rally, joined by State Senator Sean Ryan, who has added his voice to their effort to stop building owner Archer Daniels Midland from tearing it down. They don't have a right to tear down a, a historic building. Well, actually, they do, at least according to a judge who last week rejected the contention by preservationists that the city somehow failed to perform due diligence when it issued an emergency order of demolition to ADM following the wall collapse that occurred during a windstorm a month ago. It left a lawyer for the preservationist seeking to get the case before an appellate division justice who he hoped might agree to issue an order staying any demo, giving them more time to prepare more arguments. It was some Thing he hoped to be able to do today. Because the court rules say that Mondays are the day that they handle such uh, applications. But as far as we know, no judge has agreed to look at their case. Meanwhile, it's important to remember that while the city approved an order for emergency demolition, it is yet to issue the actual permit, without which demolition cannot proceed. In a letter delivered today, the campaign for Greater Buffalo asked Mayor Brown to directly intervene by rescinding the demolition order and denying the permit. Signed by the group's president, it contends each of the commissioner's findings regarding the need for demolition lacks substantive support in fact. Please withhold the demolition permit and compel the owners to stabilize and repair this extremely important treasure. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.